Okay, so I am back, and you see that little Remington? See that barely little crushed edge? That's how all the Remingtons, the Remington Thunderbolts, looked after being shot through. The GSG, see that little tiny edge? Not big. Okay, so now this, <laughs> this is not the, this is a, uh, this, this is how bad some of the Fioki can be. Look at that. Uh, that's 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 a crush job that my my little DL44 little 22 rimfire. Um, that's that's what a crushed edge should look like. Right there. Can I get a good shot? Come on. Ay ay ay. Oh, here's another. Let me see. Let me see if I can make this one work. Well, it's like same same deal, but cool. I block my whole thing. Hey, there we go. It focused on my hand now. Look at that cool. <laughs> that's a that's a Fioki. That's a really quality 22. I have three of these. I have three of these Fiokis that had all of that happen to them. Look at that. Three. 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 I loaded these all three times into my magazine, rotated it, rotated it, rotated it, kept trying to, you know, get these things to fire, and I was really shocked, and what's really funny is that these three all had this issue in my DL44, which crushed, crushed the rim, but the Fioki all ran perfect, all, what, 44 rounds through that, two 22 round mags, through this guy, and man, it just ran like a top with the Fioki. And I, you know, if you see the other videos, uh, I just got back from the range with this guy. So I'm going to clean it, go through it, and, uh, you know, the kind of the general thing. But, okay, so yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, when I was doing all this work, there is a spring that gives you your um, tension on your trigger. It is your tension return spring that does this, gives you this little bounce to your springer, little bouncy spring to your trigger, so it will return. And it's in here. It sits like this in here. And it, when I was working on it, it went and shot. I felt it go past my shirt, and it went bing onto the shelves somewhere. And so, yesterday, I spent all of about an hour taking every freaking thing off my shelf one by one and looking for that tiny little black screw. I even went way down below and cleared it all out. I had no idea where it went. I just heard it and felt it go past me and... Yeah, that's the torture of working on firearms sometimes. The real scary part is when you're working on guns that have, you know, a lot of unobtainium in them. And uh, that's really frightening. So, yeah, I have a story with a, uh, a Swiss uh, 11, was that a, a 96 11? That, uh, that I, yeah, had a part go missing on me. I just literally landed at my feet and disappeared. Uh, I never found it. So, yeah, I had to fabricate something. So, uh, cheers guys, have an awesome day, and, uh, you know.